Hello everyone, my name is Tracy, and welcome to my channel. So last night I put up a TikTok announcing that I wanted to start making YouTube videos um, on junk journals and I was going to start a series of making a recipe book. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make the cover and I'm going to use this envelope. So it's going to be a disc bound journal. I have one here that I made a long time ago. Since this is going to be a recipe book, um, I don't want to have it exposed like this because since it's going to be in the kitchen most of the time I want it to be covered so that's what this is going to do oh shoot is it going to cover it be right back okay so this isn't going to work I'm glad I did that this is going to be too small this book is six inches long let's go back to the drawing board I'll be right back okay I'm back took me a while to figure out what I can do I really want to do it in the disc bound so I think what I'm going to do is take these two pieces of paper bag I made this last weekend so with the paper bag so it's like faux leather there's videos all over YouTube about it. So I think I'm going to do the same thing with this and then glue one to the other side. Take one like this and glue it like that and then I'm going to make a little pocket to put a piece of the cutting mat inside and then punch it with my disc bound punch and that way the recipe book can sit in there without using the back cover. So yeah I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm only going to show one because I don't want to bore you. So I'm going to show you how to turn it into faux leather. Like I said there's tons of videos all over YouTube but I'll just go ahead and show you so let's do this one first okay, so first I'm sorry for the noise but first you want to take it and crumple it up uncrumple it <laughs> it didn't get very wrinkled it's easier to spray it with the water first so you have a bottle of water this has glycerin in it you can use conditioner too but i don't really like i did like i said i did these two last weekend i have this one i did this one first with the glycerin and water and i really like the way it feels it really does feel like leather it's really pliable and then i used conditioner on this one it feels good but it's still like a little stiff in areas like up in the corner up here and i actually put mod podge on it too I forgot to put my gloves on. I'll be right back. I was just checking on my tea dye paper or coffee dye. I'm coffee dyeing paper right now. It's my first time, so it's not going as well as I hoped. They're all over my balcony and they're still wet because it's kind of chilly out today. Some of them ripped. Anyway, let's go ahead and crumple this up. It's a little bit easier now. I'm going to uncrumple it. Crumpling it until you get the as many wrinkles as you want. You can crinkle it in certain areas to get more. Technically, I'm making two covers for this. Um, this is going to be more like a like jacket, you know. And then I'm going to make a cover for the actual journal. I'm going to try not to make this video too long. I think that's enough for now. Take my heat gun and dry it a little bit. Okay, so it's not completely dry. I can never remember if it's supposed to be completely dry, but I don't have time to wait. I'm going to go ahead and use this mixture of Mod Podge and Vintage Ink with this Sea Stress Inker. I saw a video on YouTube on how to make that too. So I'm going to go ahead and paint some of this on. So I bought these at Dollar Tree too today and it make it easier to do this because last time I was using a paintbrush. big piece too. It's going to take a while. In the TikTok I put out earlier, like I was saying, I, um, I've been wanting to start, I actually have a YouTube channel that I've had for a while. I wasn't being consistent with it. I wasn't growing it. But this year I told myself, this is going to be my year. You know, like this, I am tired of, you know, sitting around making excuses and not doing anything.
I'm always listening to this podcast. The Law of Attraction changed my life, and I love it. She is so inspiring and so motivating on, you know, using the Law of Attraction to better your life and get what you want. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up real quick since it's taken a while, and I'll be back. Okay, so I got it all covered, so now I have to let it dry, but I still have to do the other one too. Like I said, I'm not going to do both of them on camera because you just saw it. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one figure out where I can put this one to dry because I don't have a lot of desk space. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll come back and once they're dried and then we'll do the next step. Next step is Mod Podge. Okay, I'm back. I got them both done. They're sitting drying. So I need to make some more of my mixture of Mod Podge. So I thought I would show you. I've only seen a couple videos or one video of somebody making it. So I'm gonna actually make one with, this is the one with Vintage Photo. So I'm going to make another one of those. And then I had another bottle and I thought that I would use this um, walnut ink that I got from Joanne Fabric. I'm hoping it's darker than <laughs> than the vintage photo because I do need a darker one. What you do is, like this bottle was brand new, so what you do is take out half of it. Whether you pour it, like I just poured it into this one since I needed more. The first time when I did this one, I poured it into my Mod Pod bottle. So yeah, you would just pour out half of it and then you put like, a quarter of water. Okay. And I'm using distilled water. Okay, so this is a distressed ink vintage photo. Two drop bowls. In the video I saw of the, the woman doing this, she did it because she was using a lot of this stuff. That stuff's not, I mean, it's not expensive, but it's not easy to find either. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. So I got this at Tuesday morning, and I did it on this one here. And I'm an idiot, I forgot to shake it. So that's why this one's a little bit lighter than the other one. I think I'm going to put this on after they dry. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this one in there. shake them up and that's how you make it just wanted to show you how to make that i'm gonna go ahead and let those dry i'm gonna go check on my coffee dyed paper and i'll be back when they're dry hello everyone i'm back it's been a couple days since the last time i filmed so i went ahead and f finished the faux leather and i used the mod podge satin and it came out a little shinier than i like but i still like it so now all i need to do is cut them down to the size that i want and glue them together i want this one to be on the inside because it has this seam here and then this one's going to be the outside i'm going to go ahead and cut it down to size I'm trying to decide if i want to do like a little lip like that or if i just want to have it close like this I think I'm gonna do the fold. So I think I need it. I need a bigger ruler. One thing I need because all my rulers are only 12 inches. I need it to be okay. So I gotta measure it out where I need them. Fold in the paper here where I need to cut it. So I just cut up, cut the other side even because they were kind of off. I'll have to cut it the other way. It's gonna be nine and a half or nine inches this way. Okay, let me go ahead and do the other one real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I evened out the bottom of this part and so I have to cut off a little bit on the top here because I don't want that groove there. So I want it to be nine inches. Okay, I'm back. So I got the two pieces cut out. This is going to be the inside. Um, so it has this line here from the paper, from the bag, and it is 16 and a quarter by 9 inches this way. So it'll go something like this. And then fold over like that to make a little closure. And then I will take a piece of the um, leather that I cut off and make a little pocket on the inside here. Like that, so that I can have a something for the inside to go into, the back cover to go under. Like that, to hold it in place. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue it together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start on one side. Do it like you would wallpaper or contact paper. Okay. 
Okay, so I got it all glued down. I'm holding it together on the edges with some uh, Dollar Tree clips. And then once it's dry, I'm going to sew around the edge um, to hold it together better and for more of a vintage look. And then I need to go ahead and make the pocket. I'm going to sew that in too. I'll be back when it's dry. Oh, and I also rounded the corners with my little corner punch, like the one inch quarter punch. I'll be back when it's dry um, so I can go ahead and sew it. Okay, so I got it all put together and glued and I'm going to go ahead and sew around the edges. I had to put another uh, coat of the matte Mod Podge on top because I used the satin one before and I didn't realize how sticky it made it. So that's what took me so long. Um, of course for you it's only a couple seconds. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and sew around the edges and I'm going to go ahead and sew the pocket in. I made it look a little on the edges, just left it kind of rough. And then I put another piece on the back so I make it a little thicker, you know, so that it doesn't rip. I'm going to go ahead and sew the cover in. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I've been fighting with my sh machine for a while now. Finally figured out what was wrong with it. For some reason, the paper wouldn't move. It turns out it was this little switch back here on the back of my machine right there. It was switched to this one and it needs to be on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the cover now. Okay, so here's the cover for the book. Got a little pocket here. I'm probably gonna have to make the, I don't even know what to call it, like the back cover that's gonna be going in here a little bit smaller than the actual book because one here doesn't fit. <laughs> this is, uh, it just doesn't fit in there. So I'm probably gonna have to like maybe just do it down to here like this and just have it like that size to make it fit. It's just gonna be like a clear one that looks like this. Like I said from the cutting mats um, that you get at Dollar Tree. I found these in my drawer. I forgot I even had them. So I didn't even actually need to buy any, but anyway, yeah, I'll probably end up just cutting it down to like I said this size and that um and it's just going to be staying in there so like that way if I did want to take the book out I can but yeah that's the cover for the actual recipe book so now I need to actually make the covers to put on the discs so that will be the next part of the video for the covers and then we'll move on to another video for the rest of the stuff or like the dividers and I'm not sure I'll figure out how I want the series to go but I just wanted to show you the how I made the cover I think it turned out really well it looks like real leather I mean I love the way it looks so I'm probably gonna do like that and then put like a brad here or not a brad but a one of these little things eyelet or I don't know we'll see I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of just winging this whole thing. Tomorrow I will work on the covers for the disc bound book. So I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. I'm at it bright and early this morning. It is 8.15. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the cover for the disc bound journal or recipe book. I'm gonna use this uh, 110 pound cardstock for my cover. And then I have a bunch of um, this same paper already cut up from the journal I was going to make before, or a planner I was going to make before, and I never did. So I'm going to just use that for the dividers. Use up the stuff you already have, right? Excuse me, my voice is still a little rough. <laughs> like I said, I just woke up a little while ago. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to six by nine, one at a time, because I always end up messing up when I do it. Plus this is thick. So we need this one to be nine. This is gonna be an eight and a half, five and a half by eight and a half, half size journal. So you want your cover to be a little bit bigger. It's close enough. <laughs> I'm not doing another piece. Okay, here is our the beginning of our cover. We have some scraps to use. I can stamp on, maybe junk it up a little bit. Okay, so now I just need to figure out what I want to put on the front. I'm going to go make me some breakfast and think about what I want to put on these covers. I do have something started on Procreate that I can add to for the cover and then I need to do like something on the inside and then not sure about anything on the back side. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure out something. Um, as you can see, I haven't really thought this through very well. <laughs> I don't have like a plan. <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of winging it right now. 
just going with the flow and whatever comes out. I finished the jacket last night. I showed this. I love the way it came out. It's so pretty. So I do have these little printouts that I did before that I showed you. Yeah, these um, that I can put on some of the dividers. I'm gonna put this on one of them because this is too big to put anywhere else. So I'm gonna put it sideways on a divider. Okay guys, I'm back again. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. I printed out some more stuff. I printed out this for my cover. I'm gonna add some more stuff. I'm gonna dye it. I was gonna coffee dye it, but I don't feel like making any coffee. So I'm just gonna use probably this um, that I made for the cover. Either that or the vintage photo one that I made because this one is walnut stain. One of these two. Um, so I'm just gonna dye some papers, but I wanted to show you real quick what I got from Amazon. Just a couple inks. Yeah, I, I ordered these from Amazon because I needed the walnut one. I have vintage photo, which I have for a while. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> but I have the little mini ones and that's what I've been using. So I, but I wanted the old paper one and then I got the walnut stain, and I got the re-inker, and then I got this um, antiquing medium in nutmeg. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Let's go ahead and dye some paper. So I'm guessing I should probably use vintage photo because I don't want it to be too dark. I just added some more walnut stain to this one. Let me put my gloves on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna start cutting on ephemera and dyeing stuff and you know all that fun stuff. I just thought I'd take you along with me. I figured it'd be better to use this anyway instead of coffee. I mean, I'm not really like, um, like baby or whatever. Oops. Yeah. I'm keep going this way. I probably should have. Oh, no. Um, I think I probably should have put the other stuff on there first, but. I want to dye this one too because it's a little light, these ones, so, but I need to cut them out first. I'm going to ripping one out for the store. One I actually meant to make a little bigger, but that's okay. <laughs> it's having printer issues. I'm using my iPad. Printing on your iPad is definitely different than printing on a laptop. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna paint the rest of the stuff later because I only need stuff for the cover right now. I'm gonna go ahead and distress the edges. Might make them look a little rough too, like with some scissors or something. I like that rough look. I'm using this one right now. I think I'm gonna round the corners too. I rounded the corners. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it closer to this edge than the other side so that there's room for the disc for me to punch on the end. Okay, I got the cover glued on. Pretty cool. I'm still gonna put something, you know, here. I'm gonna put a book plate. I'm gonna use these to make that. But I need to make a pocket for the inside and do something with this so that I can put recipes and like recipes that need to be punched or, and just new recipes that I get in there. And then I need to work on the dividers because I think the back cover probably not going to do much with. And I don't think I'm going to have a lot of dividers. There's like six here. I'm not going to use all those. I'll probably have one for breakfast, dinner, um, salads, and desserts, I think. Round the corners on this one.
I still have a lot of stuff to do, decorating the dividers and making tabs. I have the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board, so I'll be using that to make tabs. I started printing out, or not printing out, but I started getting the recipes ready on my computer to print out, because I need, the, since it's a half size, I need to print them out in half size. So yeah, I was doing that earlier. Still need to print them out. And I might put a layer of Mod Podge over this, just to protect it more, because like I said, this is going to be in the kitchen. almost forgot I need to distress the edges. Let that dry. I need to figure out what I want to make the pocket out of and how I want to make the pocket. So if I want to do it as like just a corner pocket, which I think I do because I want to be able to just stick them in there real quick. Hey guys, I'm back. I just realized I wasn't filming. I have been making pockets for the covers and I completely forgot to film it. I realized earlier that I haven't been showing you as much as I should be doing this whole process. So I'm going to just leave the camera rolling. Oh shoot. See what I'm doing here? Yeah, I'm making pockets. I made this one for the back pocket. I wasn't going to do it on the front, but then I realized I wanted it bigger. So I just did a regular size like this. That way I can tuck recipes in there. So this one is going to go on the back and then I'm going to sew over it. I'm still getting used to filming while I'm doing this stuff. So I just forgot to start filming again. So this is the back cover. I want to stamp something on it, but I don't know what. I don't have a lot of recipe book type stamps. So I put a piece of lace down at the bottom. I distressed it. This one here that I got like forever ago at Dollar Tree. <laughs> Never used it until now. But yeah, I just distressed it with some uh, vintage photo and walnut stain. And you guys, I just got this walnut stain yesterday or the day before, I think. And I already had to add ink to it. It was already, it seemed like it wasn't that wet. But like the vintage photo that I just opened that I've had forever but never used is like soaking wet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew around the edge of this and then along the lace. Just sewed around the edges and a zigzag stitch all the way up to here on the lace. I sewed a straight stitch because I didn't want to cover up the lace. I think it looks really cute. I just have to make a book plate. Probably have to like print something out. I don't remember where I got this idea from. I see people do it all the time. I just laminated a piece of white paper. <laughs> um, that way you can you don't have to worry about getting ink all over the place. Definitely need to do something on the inside. My creative juices are not flowing today, people. <laughs> and I had so much trouble with my machine last night. I was like struggling and it turns out it was just, I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier. If I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it turned out it was just, yeah, that's right. I did mention it. Um, the little switch on the back was flipped um, for the gator. Thingy. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I just started using that machine. I had that machine for a while. I got it for myself for Christmas in 2020. Like every year except for this year I've gotten myself something like 2019 I got myself the Cricut Maker. And then last, or 2020, I got the sewing machine. Um, and then what else? What did I get? You know, when I got the Cricut Maker, I also got the Easy Press. You know, I got my printer. I think it was just to get it, just so I could start printing out the vintage stuff. And I never did it until now. I got myself the Eco, the Epson Eco Tank. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah, I was saying, <laughs> I forgot to turn the camera back on after I got a text message. But yeah, they, I'm definitely probably gonna have to print something off for the recipes uh, for the book plate. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, because I don't have any stamps. The only one I have that says recipes is this one here and it's just too small for the covers. Plus I wanted to say recipe, either recipe journal or recipe book. So I'm gonna go to procreate and create something. My God, you guys, once again, I did it again. I just made the whole book cover or book plate and I forgot to show you. So I'm not sure, hopefully this will hold up. If not, then I'll just do another one. Um, but yeah, I just put some burlap in the background and then just use this um, die cut here. I think I was telling you earlier, I just use these. Well, I think this one and this one. I used the bigger one on this and it just came out square. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp on the inside with this stamp. So I love to cook. I have somewhere, there we go. I have stays on ink in timber brown. It's cute. Yeah, of course you can't even see it. Small, but it's cute. <laughs> Let's see which other one. Like I said, maybe, I don't know. I don't want to do the fork. I have the 
fork and the spoon and everything on the front. I definitely do want to put this one on the back cover, even though I'm not going to see much of it. Or maybe I'll put it on the inside of the back cover. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. I remember I saw this one that says made with blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, I'm putting that on the back cover. <laughs> like on the inside, I guess down here. I just thought that was cute. I bought these at about most of my stuff I get it Tuesday morning. <laughs> It moved a little bit. Oh well. I think that's it for the back cover. I don't want to do much with it because it's not going to be seen that much. This one I think I want to put the mason jar right here with the Made With Love. Go this way. Probably moved too. Oh no I didn't. I want to make a like a book for my stamps and dies too. So that will probably be coming up soon. I've been wanting to do that forever as well. 100% handmade would be cute. This is 100% handmade so. Now where should we put it? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. I'm sure I'll add more stuff, but I don't want to drag on too long with this. I just wanted to show you how I made the cover and how I made the jacket for it. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you were able to follow along. Like I said, I know I didn't show you everything that I was supposed to. This is my first time, so please bear with me, and I hope that... I can make a good video out of this. So next I'll be doing the dividers and just printing out recipes, printing out... Um, I got a bunch of copy dyed paper over here, so I'll probably be using some of that to put in the book. Like I said, I might turn this into a journal as well, just to, you know, write recipes that I've, you know, experienced and you know, talk about my experience. I want it to be, you know, fairly good size. I don't want it to be too chunky, but, but yeah, anyway, I put a layer of Mod Podge on the back of the cover and I still need to punch it. Actually maybe I should punch it with you so you can see. Let me grab my punch real quick. This is my punch. This is a disc bound punch. I got this from Office Depot. I actually got really, that's actually it goes like this. <laughs> um, got really lucky with this because uh, usually these things are fairly expensive and I got this one for 10 bucks on clearance. So, so you just put it in like this. And it's set to the eight and a half size. And you just put it in like this. Make sure it's all the way up against the end. And you just punch. It creates these little mushroom shapes. So I just have to punch the other one and then I will be done with the cover. But the next video should be the dividers and then just creating ephemera and adding ephemera and everything, um, printing out the recipes. I will see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.